Well, pilgrims, it's that time. Bags packed, sticks and such. And uh, yeah, it's time I leave for this pilgrimage. I'll be doing the Norte onto the Primitivo. So stay tuned for more wacky Peregrino action coming at you live, but not really live, actually recorded, but kind of live, pseudo live, in the field, on the scene, <sighs> this June. Do you hear something? Ow! Well, people are getting closer and closer to the Harley Davidson Museum. That's right, folks. I've decided to scrap everything and go to the Harley Davidson Museum. No, that's a lie. What I'm actually doing is boarding a train and heading to not Spain, though I wish I was because that'd be more poetic. At least with the rhyming structure I was going for. However, I'm heading to Newark. Newark, New Jersey, as you recall from my, well, a previous video where I went on and on and on about the the charms of Liberty Airport of New York. Newark. Newark. What type of word is that? Is that even what? I mean, what is that? Newark. You shut your mouth. Regardless, yes. As you can see, these are the train tracks. On those train tracks, there'll be a train soon. And on that train, you'll find me. Second poles of hand. That, my bag looks way overpacked right now, but what's going on is I have a lot of bottles of vitamins and stuff like that and that, that need to be broken up and taken apart and put in those Ziploc bags that I also talked about in previous episodes. And I also have sandals in there and my water bottle and my water to my hydration kit that'll also, all those things will be coming out of the bag and will be ex externally located, if you will, rather than internally located as they are now, which make it look bulbous and big and far too large for me. I will say it's interesting walking without my tracking poles in hand right now while holding the pack. The pack is weighing in right now at about 21 pounds. Once the bottles are empty and everything comes out, it, I should lose a couple pounds, I think. And then, again, tracking poles will be out of this. I'm not going to keep this bag. I think I'll be leaving it somewhere. So, again, I'll be dropping a couple pounds, a few pounds here and there. So, roughly, I, ideally, I'd like my, po my pounds. I'd <laughs> to be ounces. Ideally, I'd like my pounds or my pack to be about 18 or 19 pounds roughly, somewhere around there. And we'll see where that goes. And that's minus water weight, too. Uh, but, yeah, that's just where I'm at right now. Am I rambling? Maybe I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Okay, folks, we'll check back in once I get to York. York. York.
There's something very therapeutic about this process after traveling. Or maybe I have OCD. Or maybe there's just something else going on. And so it begins. So it would seem that the airport lost my sticks. Yeah, even though I'm tracking them, I can see where they are with my air tag. They have not moved. Uh, they were supposed to be shipped on a second flight yesterday, but you know. That didn't happen. So today, supposedly, they're coming in around 1 o'clock. I, however, will be already hiking. By that point, I'll probably be in San Sebastian. Ironically enough, and or rather luckily enough, the airport's also in San Sebastian. So I think I can just take a taxi over there and continue on. My only concern is hiking without my sticks today. I am like a, a stick master, as you know, at this point, so it's going to be a little, it's going to be hard. So I might have to pick up some cheap ones to, if any store is open at this hour. But I haven't hiked without sticks since, I don't know, I started Machu Picchu without sticks. Because there was some rule that you couldn't use them, then I figured out eventually that the rule was, if you did use them, you had to use rubber tips. Problem solved. And soon I began to ascend Machu Picchu like nobody's business. However, that was, it was a bitch. Granted, there were a lot of stairs. Machu Picchu is like the original Stairmaster. I wonder if that makes me a Stairmaster after the fact. Anyways, folks, yeah, so, a little bummed yesterday, but this is just, you gotta, you know, you gotta travel loose. So you can adjust on a dime. I don't expect any sympathy anywhere in the forums of the groups. Nada. One Camino. So I'm gonna go downstairs and yeah, if you you probably noticed I'm not in the Alberta that I was supposed to be staying in yet because on the airplane I made the call. I did like 48 hours of traveling, it was exhausting, and I slept for probably two hours on the airplane. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna do an Alberta gate where I have to, but I get in the town at one and have to wait four hours before I check anywhere. And, uh, and I'm glad I did because I was able to call around and sort out this whole stick issue. I was also able to do laundry and everything else. It just gave me probably like three extra hours to play with. And I thought like a baby last night. So I got that going on. Anyways, folks, that's my dilemma right now. This is day one. Camino del Norte slash Primitivo. We're off to a great start.